In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint Online Modern Quick Links web part. We will see how we can use that. If you are coming first time to the channel, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. I welcome you to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you will get notification whenever I will upload videos on SharePoint Office 365 SPFX Power Platform and lots of other videos I will upload. So now let's get started. Let me open a SharePoint Online Modern site. You can see here this is a SharePoint Online Modern site which is a Office 365 group connected site. And on this, uh, by default, when you will open, you will uh, get similar kind of interface. And here you can see a quick links web part, which is by default, it will be there. But what we'll do here is we will add a, a new quick links web part, and then we will see how we can configure it. Now I have uh, under the pages uh, document library, I have certain site pages are there. You can see here, I have put some site pages and let's say these are the important pages and we want to uh, display it on the home page or in a quick links web part uh, if you remember in classic sites we usually use promoted links web part and there you can display icons and then on click of that uh, particular uh, item then user will navigate to that particular page now here same thing we will do for example i will add the links for SharePoint Online Developer Training Course for uh, SPFX Training, Site Owner Training. Like this, we'll add all the links and whenever user will click on that, they will navigate to that particular page. Now, what I'll do here is, you can see here, there is an edit button. Click on this edit button and uh, anywhere you can see this plus icon is coming. If you'll scroll here, you can see this plus icon. So that means that time it is, uh, once you click on this plus icon, uh, you will be able to see the web parts. So whatever the default web parts are there in SharePoint provides, there are a lot of useful web parts are there and then you can add it from there. Now the quick links web part, normally we put in the right side because it will not be uh, something that will take the entire page. So that's the reason we will add it here. For example, I will click over here and then once you click over here, it will show you all the web parts. So you can see here, I will search for uh, quick links. By the way, you can, in, in fact, you can scroll here. You will be able to see all the web parts. Apart from that, you can also, you can see here this icon. Click over here and you will be able to see all the web parts. Category wise, you can see here. Uh, for category wise, it will show you all these web parts which you can use. Now here, uh, I will search for uh, quick links. You can see here, once I uh, select for quick links, you can see uh, this is the web part that we can use here so click over here and once you click on that you can see here this is the web part that has been added and on this it is showing that you can add link and stuff icons are there like this you can do that now what we will do here is if you want to give an heading you can put it here for example i will say training uh, courses and uh, for the links you can see here once i click on plus add new link then it is coming to this page where you can see recent so you'll be able to see the recent items and then you can add uh, images you can in fact you will go here you can select a particular image and then you can give provide a url so that when you will click on that user will click on that they will navigate to that page now for our case you will go to sharepoint and you can see you will be able to see all your libraries here uh, we have the pages in the site pages so you can see and these are the pages so let's say i will select uh, the sharepoint development training course and if we'll scroll down here uh, you can see open is there so let me just now it is properly visible so i'll select this and you can see click on open so once you click on open actually it will open uh, the it will show the uh, link whatever the links and then the title if you want to change something you can change that for example i will say sharepoint online developer training development training and then uh, you can see it is saying that uh, auto select so you can select it automatically select it this is a page so you will see the uh, page icon like this if it is a word file maybe you will see the uh, word icon if it is excel file or powerpoint file you will see different icons 
apart from that also you can add custom images for example here i can select here uh, change image i will put a stock image here and i can put anything for example i'll put this one i'll say in short now you can see the images is coming like this so you don't need to save it is already saved then close it so now if you will just just go up you can see here this is our uh, first item and you can click on edit if you want to in case if you want to edit it so let it be like this uh, the second item we will do again same click on add new links and here suppose i will select the site owner click on open uh, apart from that auto selected or you can see here this image this image is coming you can also have icons and once you click on change you will be able to see a lot of icons here for example i will select this page icon and click on select now you can see here this is the icon that how it will appear now click over close here and if you will go here you can see this is like this so let me quickly add some other elements here or some other items so i will not i'll go for auto select we will add one more items so now you can see here we have added all uh, the elements here or all the links here so you can also change the order if you will hover actually first one you can see this is the edit icon the second one you can see here uh, it is saying if if you will just select it and uh, then you can actually use the control up and down arrow and then you can uh, change it for example you can see here uh, you, you can uh, change it so uh, you can see here this one if i will select uh, you, you you just press control and then up and down arrow so you, you can change the order apart from that also now let's see how it is uh, looking like so if i'll republish it you can see here this is how it looks like this is one uh, way or the one way of displaying these links now let me quick uh, uh, edit it and uh, then select this anywhere over here and then you can see here edit web part icon so once you click on edit web part icon you will see actually now see here this is responsive so you can see here now uh, it is down so this is how our web part looks like now uh, you have different formats or the layouts are there for example if i will select this one you can see here how it is coming um, in the second page you can see here this is coming it is kind of uh, uh, you can see here right so we can take uh, you can click on next and then you can go to that page and uh, similarly if you want to grid you can see here this is how it is coming uh, and it will not looks like uh, like this one if i will actually republish it you can see here uh, since there is a bigger size so you can see here this is how it will come now let me edit it and uh, let's web edit this web part click over here and uh, you can see there is another very beautiful view which will come is button view so once you click on button you have the options also uh, let me show you how exactly it is appearing now you can see here this is the button view and uh, icons on the left or if you will say icons on top you can see here no icon so icons will not appear and uh, you can see here button appearance so fill with color you can see here now this will fill with color um, you can just you can see here uh, title text if you want to oh, come in one line two line you can see that at the, the alignment if it is top or center center looks little beautiful and you can select this way so apart from that also there are tiles views so if you select tiles view you can see here this is how it is appearing and if you take small icon you can see here it will come like this so uh, the good view is i like personally this button view and uh, when actually you will uh, scroll up you can see here how it is coming and it really looks nice in the right side so the user can click over here and then they can navigate to that page so this is how we can use the uh, quick links web part in the modern site so while uh, designing any page for your corporate or corporate portal you can use this quick links web part uh, so that user can navigate uh, the useful links quickly from that so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to the channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 and all these technologies thank you and have a nice day